Hello folks, welcome back. You know, we still have a whole bunch of stuff that we can do to these Manage Categories pages and all of that. But actually, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of sick looking at this stuff. So I thought it would be nice to just jump to an entirely new section of the online shop. And let me tell you folks something, right? If you ever watch a great artist, I'm talking about like a painter, and you watch how they do a landscape painting, they don't zoom in and do like a, a tree and then zoom in and do a little uh, branch and then zoom in and do a little leaf and do all of the details on the little leaf and all of that. No, that's not how it works. You watch a grand master artist doing a painting and what you'll find is that they block out large areas of the canvas. Can you handle the vibe? So they'll block out the sky, they'll block out the landscape, maybe do a suggestion of a house here, how about a little fence here? Oh look, here comes a few trees, woo hoo hoo, right? That's how an artist works. And let me tell you folks, it's the same vibe with a great developer, and that's what you are. You're a great developer. Because listen, we are, I don't know how many videos there's going to be, but I think we're about halfway through. And this is the most comprehensive online shop tutorial on the web. I challenge you to find anyone, in, go to Udemy, go to lynda.com, I don't care, YouTube. I don't think you'll find anyone doing an online shop as big as this or as feature packed. So this is a big app, right? And just like the grand master artist blocks things out and jumps from one end to the other and leaves the detail until the end, that's exactly what we are going to do. There's nothing wrong with that and it's actually kind of cool. So I'm going to start, I think, on building a CMS. Now this is something that I covered in a tutorial series from years ago, how to build a CMS with Codeigniter. It took me about 10 videos to get through it. Uh, it's such an old series, I, I'm embarrassed. I think it was made in the days before they invented buttons or something, man. It's, it's really crap. I'm going to try and build a CMS a lot quicker here. The pace is uh, hopefully going to be a bit quicker and I hope I don't make any mistakes. So shall we rock and roll? Then let's rock and roll. The whole process starts off with building a table called web pages, okay? And this table is going to have seven columns. And let's just see, it's going to have something like ID. Now, hold on, my screen's a bit weird. I'm on um, a laptop here, so I hope you can handle the vibe, you know? So it's going to have an ID. Let's have a page title, okay. Uh, let me have a think, actually, sorry. Let's have page URL, okay. Then we'll have page title. Then we'll have page keywords. Maybe I could have called that meta keywords actually, but I'm not going to worry about that. Page description, and then we'll have headline, and then we'll have page content, okay? So, uh, page URL, we'll make that a variable character of 255. Page title, same story. Uh, page keywords, I'll do text for that, and I'll do text for description. We'll make the headline 255, and we'll make the content text, okay? Now let me see if I can do something about this page. It's kind of not fitting in. Is that any better? Let me just see. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's us. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to save that table. Okay, so there we are. There we are. Thank you very much indeed. It's called web pages. So, you know what's coming up. If we have a table called web pages, what do we have? Yes, indeed, children. We have a module called web pages. So, I'm going to set that up right now. Like so. And let me just see what's happening. Okay, so I'm opening it up here. And you should be able to do this in your sleep by now, okay? Uh, in fact, we're so good at this that I'm just going to chat to you as I do all of this stuff because you know how to do this, right? So, you know, join in and everything's cool. 
Um, somebody from the Insider Club was saying recently that this is, strictly speaking, a violation, what we're doing just now. A violation, you hear, of the dry principle, don't repeat yourself, you know? And maybe they've got a point. Who knows? Maybe they've got a point. But, you know, it's nice to have concepts like dry, D-R-Y and whatnot. But another one that I like is keep it simple, stupid. You know, you've heard of the KISS principle. This is something that I think everyone can understand. It's really easy and I just want to make life easy, you know. That's just the vibe I'm, I have. But uh, Johnny from the Insider Club had figured out how to go into the core files and edit them and whatnot. And he had some kind of system whereby he doesn't have to copy and paste this code every time. Now, if you're into that, if that's your vibe, congratulations. There's nothing wrong with that. It's super cool and uh, that's very awesome. Uh, maybe if you go to insiderclub.org and catch up with Johnny, maybe he'll show you how he did that. But listen, folks, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. I never actually invented the copy this system. I'm not the guy who invented this. I picked this up uh, in a tutorial and I just thought that it was good and it has stood by me over the years. So I'm just going to stick with this, okay? Anyway, excuse my babbling away. Excuse my babbling away. Let's get rocking and rolling. So we've set up a module here. Uh, it's called Web Pages. So I'm going to add that onto the left navigation here, okay? So let me just look for the templates folder and I'll look for a bit that says manage items because I know that that was on the navigation so here it is here it's in the admin thing okay so we've got manage items manage categories um, and I think I'll call it well, we call it CSS or Manage Web Pages. Now, let's just call it CMS. Or, yeah, or, yeah CMS. That'll do. That'll do. Um, so, this CMS thing is going to go to Web Pages forward slash Manage. Okay. So, let's refresh. Look on the left-hand side there. Do you see how it says CMS? And I think we should have another... Um, icon here. So I actually had a look and I like this FA icon file thing. To me that looks uh, kind of cool. Now how do they get, how how do they get that? Well, let me just see. Uh, icon, let me just have a look. I'm all mixed up here. Is that going to work? FA icon file. Let's just see. I'm going to refresh. No, it never worked. Right, let me just do icon file. Uh, okay, that's close enough. So there we go. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. It's fantastic, Ola. Now, the manage page is going to bear a striking resemblance to the items page. Would you agree with that? Okay, so let's go to store items. Let's go to manage and we'll copy this from store items and we'll copy it onto web pages like so. Let's just quickly check the code. Um, query equals get. Now let's order it by, let's have a look. Let's order by page URL, okay? So that's page underscore URL. And that's it. So if we click on to CMS, you'll see that it's trying to load up a file called manage, but that's okay, no surprises, and everything is looking fantastic. So I'm gonna grab a, a file called manage here from store items. Remember, store items is the kind of the donor module, if you know what I mean. So, new file, manage.php, save, and we'll just whack this in like so. Uh, let's just see what happens. I'll hit refresh, okay, so 
No disaster story, but we've obviously got a few changes to do here. Um, I'm gonna change manage items to, how about custom, let me, what does CMS stand for? <laughs> Content management system, right? Okay, that'll do us. Okay, um, so that's that. We're gonna have a, the button at the top says add new item, do you see that? Where is that? Right, we'll have that saying create new web page. Okay, and that's gonna go to this create item URL is gonna be create page URL and that's gonna be web pages forward slash create, right? So we're perfect up until the table here, which is not too bad. Um, we've got a tag icon here, I'm gonna change that to a file icon. Okay, so keep an eye here, just see, look, see, changed. Uh, where it says items inventory, I'm gonna change that to say custom web pages or something like that, I don't know. Maybe you can think of something better. Uh, now I'm gonna get the table doing some cool stuff. So we'll change that to page URL. And then we've got um, page title. Then we've got, now let me just see, uh, page URL, page title. Uh, I'm thinking here, do we actually need to page title, page URL? Yeah, let's add headline. Okay, so page title, page URL, page, <laughs> I'm not happy with that. Let me just do headline and I think that'll be fine actually. Headline, I'll tell you what, I'll add page title in. Okay, okay, sorry about this. Page title, headline. Right, okay, so I'm gonna refresh. Okay, page URL, page title, page headline, status, action. Okay, um, that'll do for the moment. Let's just, I think I'll pause the video there actually. I think that's 10 minutes. Okay, we'll stop there. That's a good start. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.